Welcome back to the Retro Sports Gamer channel and the NCAA basketball must go on. I'm going to play College Slam on the Sega Saturn. I think this is the best version of the game. Last year, we did a tournament, a monthly tournament in March with a few of the College Slam games, this being the main game that we streamed. This Monday, we're still planning to do it on the Super Nintendo. I don't know what the turnout will be but a few of us are still committed to play at demon tap so college slam it's developed made by acclaim developed and published it's basically a straight ripoff of nba jam but because of that because they didn't really tinker with anything they've learned all they needed to about the code from midway and then they made their own version of the game which is college slam with college teams so there's really nothing else like it college throughout the years has not had arcade basketball games or football games so this is a very unique game if you never played it i recommend it on any system you could get it on it's on sega genesis uh sega saturn obviously super nintendo and playstation i don't know if there's a game boy version or game gear i'll have to look into that but uh i'm gonna run through a tournament with yukon so they give you a 16 team bracket so my goal is to win it all with yukon i got it on the middle level three if you look at the game options how's it going octavius in the chat so yeah, if you look at the options, configure game, I'm going three. These are not the type of games with the rubber band AI because they, you know, they still use the same uh, coding as Midway that you want to challenge yourself uh, with the top difficulty because it's just going to aggravate you. It's not worth it versus the computer. How's it going, Metal Face? And there's another game that's very unique that uh, Acclaim ripped directly off Midway, and that's uh, WWF In Your House. That might be a game I play later today or this weekend. I've just had a itch to play it. It's basically just like WrestleMania, the arcade game, although they changed the wrestlers and they added some different things. And it's, it's a fun fighting slash wrestling game if you've never played it before. So let's get in the tournament. Enough talking. So you could put multiple players in if you want to. Obviously, here it's just me right now. So I'm going to put in my initials and get this going. And I did edit the team names on Yukon. I'm headlined by Ray Allen. And I also have Travis Knight as a center which also was in the NBA. He was on the Lakers, if you remember that. So, the bracket's automatically chosen for you, and looks like I'm going up against Ohio State. Formidable first-round opponent. I don't know if they had anyone of note at this time that was in the NBA, but. So here you got Ray Allen. You could see speeds up to nine. This game came out in 1996. Uh, his three point shootings a seven. Dunk is eight. Pass, clutch eight. Pass is six. Steal eight. Power six. He's pretty much good all the way around. Uh, King here is the. I want to say he is the power forward, Sheffer's the point guard, and Johnson's the small forward. So I'm going to start off with the two guys that were in the NBA, Ray Allen and Knight. How's it going, Antonio? Now, the, the races of the players don't always match. Like, if you play Wake Forest in this, they have Tim Duncan, and he's like a big white guy with blonde hair. But usually the ratings match the player of the time but the cool thing is with this game you can put in any names you want so if you want to customize 
with today's era of players, you can put in their names too. So they're starting with their power forward and shooting guard. Oh, I picked the wrong guy. Oh, oh well, I got... You change at halftime or you could call a timeout and make a substitution. How's it going, Adam? Yeah, no sports this weekend. Everything's canceled, so might as well stream some sports games. There are loading screens in this. They're not too bad. It's one of the drawbacks of the Sega Saturn PlayStation era. A lot of loading. This version you could throw alley-oops in. And there you could he hear they have some... Oh, that was a horrible pass. Some band music in the background. <clears throat> Yeah, but this game looks and feels like NBA Jam. The players are still a little slidey on the court like they are on NBA Jam TE for Sega Saturn and PlayStation. But I would say the players aren't uh, as huge as they are in that version. So I think they did a little bit better job with this game than they did with the ports of NBA Jam TE. On both PlayStation and Sega Saturn. Down the stretch. Firing up threes, they're not going in. March Madness would have 16 teams only if they did it. That could be, uh, I mean, once all. Uh, this coronavirus scare passes I mean there'll be some alterations to these leagues for suspending their season I mean a lot of these they're still in the business of making money so if, once they feel like they have the green light to go I'm sure they're going to try to do something Ray Allen for three from the corner <laughs> Sixteen to six. So last year when we did the College Slam tournament at Demon Tap, that's the one that the one and only last year that I won. We didn't we didn't do one every month like I set out to do. We probably did six to eight. So it's not too bad of odds, but uh Yeah, between DPS, Green Magic, and Mort, they won the rest of them. My brother won one in show, NBA Showtime. Sky high dunk. April Madness. Why not? Yeah, I just went to Target and uh, everything seemed okay and in stock, but what they say about the toilet paper is true. Toilet paper is out of stock. I'm assuming they're going to want to get more orders in so they could continue to sell more toilet paper. College Slam on Dreamcast. Well, yeah, pretty much everything compared to Saturn will look better on Dreamcast. Except, I mean, yeah. But 2D fighters, 2D games... And this is basically a 2D game as well. That's why it looks good. It's 2D player scaling. It's the same reason like why NBA Hang Time looks so good on the Nintendo 64. It's 2D player scaling. It's not 3D. This is a man, this I didn't think they would be this bad on three. Oh, what's up, Sean? You never knew this game existed? Yeah, this is, uh, like I said earlier, it's a unique game. College games didn't really get arcade versions, but this is the one that exists for uh, NCAA basketball.
Computer, they need a timeout after this. Yeah, now that the tournament started, I don't know if I could go back and and change the skill level, but maybe it'll get harder as I go along. But this right now is just crushing them. Most people never owned a Sega Saturn. I didn't play it when I was younger. I bought it probably six years ago, maybe, on eBay. It was a good deal. It was like with the controller and a game for 40 bucks or something. Uh-oh. I brought in two bigger guys. See how they do. Still no good. Adam saying College Slam is his favorite basketball game. Or favorite college. Okay, that makes sense. It's probably my favorite too. It's one that I go back to. It's an easy pick up and play type game. And because it's only two on two, you know, it looks better than anything else at the time. And plays like NBA Jam, which NBA Jam is an incredible, f incredibly fun arcade series to play. You bought the show 20. It's getting stale, nothing for a change that makes me say, wow. Yeah, I mean, with these hyper-realistic games and how much money it takes to just develop the core of the game, they pretty much just keep building off of that. They're not starting from scratch. So you get the roster updates and... More features, maybe a little bit better in the enhanced graphics, but you know, when you come from an era of playing games that are simple and fun and they have creative art style because of the limitations, uh, it's tough to get into some of the hardcore simulation games, even though they have un incredible graphics. There's just uh, there's so much to playing the games now. Oh, good defense by the computer, finally. Yeah, there's a game, if I get to it today, it's called Super Batter Up on Super Nintendo. It's made by Namco, which they were the developers of RBI Baseball. It plays just like it. It even has the music. It basically is RBI Baseball, but it has, you know, the more slender players. It's, it's a great, easy pick-up-and-play baseball game. 2K, do I think they'll do a Blitz game? I think they'll do a Blitz-like game, but... Uh, Last time Blitz came out, EA had the license, so I don't know where that stands now, but um, I don't think it will be a Blitz game. Got 34 points with Ray Allen. So we got to read the, these. These are one of the neat features of the game before you had commentators and everything. So Connecticut, you're really making them look bad with all your jams, but don't get overconfident. The tide can turn very quickly. How's it going? Ohio State, your game is too one-dimensional. Jam, jam, jam. You have to pick up the rest of the offense if you expect to walk away with a win. We're good to go. All right, since I'm crushing them, I'm going to show off some of the other players. I'll put in Sheffer and Travis Knight, who I wanted to put in the first place. Travis Knight was a big white guy. We'll see if he's represented that way in this. Okay. Come on. Loading screen. Oh, beautiful. Thank you for showing me. You're 
And Travis Knight is a big white guy. See if I could get him to go for an alley oop. No. They don't go for an alley oop like they do in hang time and show time where they're up there in the air for a long time. It's really just a quick at the rim jump. A lot of people don't like NBA playgrounds. Okay. A fire for the first time in the game. Sheffer for three. I mean. I got suckered into buying playgrounds on the PS4, and uh, I knew I didn't like it when I had a breakaway dunk with Zach Levine, and obviously, he's, there's an alley-oop right there, do you see that? And he just kind of caught my shot on that one. But uh, yeah, Zach Levine, breakaway dunk, you just expect to hit a button and do a crazy jam, and... Instead of that, you need to precisely press the button, and if you don't, he shoots behind the back like this to the rim. I'm like, what is, what is this guy doing? Like, this is, why is this game programmed this way? It's terrible. Same thing with the shooting. It's not, like in these games, it was based off of their rating, and if there was a player in front of them, defensively, that decrease their shot percentage and then lastly a little bit with how long you hold the button but not not really it's not really a huge factor how's it going shallow bay in playgrounds it was hard to play defense or get rebounds i just man it's not for me The game looks all right. I don't mind the cartoony NBA players. I think that's a nice touch. We really haven't seen anything like that. But it's just the way the game plays. It's just not good. And they didn't change it for the second one either. Can you break the backboard? I don't recall. Getting pushed, getting a dunk. For three. These guys just can't buy a bucket. Travis Knight, big slam. I would say no, but one of the reasons that you can't break the backboard in NBA Jam TE. It's because the NBA wanted Midway to take it out of the game. Even though it made sense because Shaq did that once or twice back when the game was out. Computers calling another timeout. They're prolonging their agony. And they make a quick substitution before I could see it. Uh, NBA Live is on hiatus. That's the best I could say. Shelby not feeling the uh, cheerleaders. You know, one of my uh, one of my English teachers in high school, she's also a cheerleading coach, was was in the Lovables before. Mm -hmm. 
I don't think that those cheerleaders for the NBA make make much money. It's just more like for a fun part-time gig. You would think working for the Bulls or one of these sports organizations and one of those jobs they would pay well, but no, I don't think they do. I think they bank on the fact that you're such a fan of the team and the, the sport that you're willing to take a lower pay wage because of that. I think that's how most of these teams operate, unfortunately. There's an alley-oop from them. Pro cheerleader, yeah, they do. They get ripped off. I bet you Midway paid more for the cheerleaders that they had in all their uh, in-between loading screens than some of these pro cheerleaders. Maybe the Cowboys cheerleaders get paid decently because that's like prestigious cheerleaders. D Dub saying, I hate NBA Live series after 2010. The problem engine is the same all the time. They have built from the ground up. Yeah, that's that's the problem with a lot of these modern sports games. It's they're, they're not going to start over. It just costs way too much money for them to build what they have. So they just kind of patch on what they got. Minimum wage questionable events with business executives. Maybe. Don't know. How's it going, Ill Tempo? You don't think Jerry Jones pays above minimum wage? I'm sure there's some information out there. To score 100, UConn blows out Ohio State. Yeah, this version is very good. Very good game. You don't have the alley oops and the Genesis and the Super Nintendo version. I can't say for sure in College Slam for the uh, PlayStation. I haven't played it in a while, but I assume you can because they're usually pretty much the same. Name one Lithuanian NBA player. Look at how bad this video is in between that's pushing the Saturn to the max um I can't say I could name one off the top of my head right now you let me know Sarah Bay gave an answer light blue saying I have to pick this up for the PS1 Buffalo Bills are in a lawsuit still UConn takes care of Ohio State, and we're moving on in the tournament to the Elite Eight. And we're taking on Boston College. This is on the three difficulty. I was expecting it to be a little bit harder. But that first game was not hard at all. Well, yeah, I didn't know if you meant current player, but Bill Goskis was an NBA All-Star, too. I just played NBA Inside Drive 2004 yesterday and played the All-Star game, and El Goskis was the starting center. So I, 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 I played a game with him yesterday. Yeah, get the PlayStation version if you don't have the Saturn. Also, the, the Sega Genesis Super Nintendo play just like NBA Jam on those systems. But you have the addition of the tip dunks that aren't in uh, NBA Jam, which is pretty cool. I always enjoyed that. Why do I think it wasn't as successful? I'm going to go with Ray Allen and Travis Knight. because It was all because of how they launched it. Uh... They launched it at $100 higher than the PlayStation. They surprised the retailers and everybody when they launched it. So they launched it early so they didn't have the games developed and ready to go. Plus, Sega already had a shaky track, track record of you know two systems that they kind of just 
let go they came out with with the sega cd and 32x they didn't have long lifespans so people were a little uh, iffy about sega at the time they just kept coming out with system after system you know less than two years apart they're coming out with the big boys ray allen for three oh i thought that was a three Oh, yeah, DeMontis Sabonis. Arvidas Sabonis was a rookie at, like, 35 in the NBA in Portland. What the heck? I, I got the boost and then shot it behind the backboard. No out-of-bounds, apparently, in this game. As I shot that from the sideline. Oh, here we go. You did the same thing at the rosters. Yeah, I figured if I was going to play through the tournament with him, I might as well look him up and see, edit the names of at least the team I was using. It doesn't take too long to edit one team, a few minutes. What's up, Kayvon Dirks? So as there's no sports on TV, I'll try to get to a lot of these requests that have come in to play these games. Some of them I haven't experienced much at all. Um, I know Kayvon in the chat, he he suggested uh, ESPN NHL 2K5. He was drafted during Cold War politics. Good point. Well, I assume you're from another country and you get drafted by another country, it's not always a surefire thing you're coming over. Oh, Ray Allen's on fire. Oh, how's he missing threes on fire? Well, there that goes. So between this game, a lot of shots behind the backboard. Is it more challenging now, or am I just playing worse? I think it is a little bit more challenging. So I'll be in the chat saying we'll do a stream with, in 2K19 with the 85-86 Rockets. Oh, yeah, that's Elijah one. And um, remind me the other guy's name, number 50. Oh, Sabonis so got drafted in 87. I mean, he was a good player. He was... It was interesting to see this big 7'3 guy who's not very fast. Very big guy on the court. And he's shooting threes and passing better than I've ever seen a big man pass. Very talented guy. Ralph Sanford, that was... That's who I'm thinking of. You played College Slam last night? Jayhawks? Who's on the Jayhawks in College Slam? I might even play them in this tournament. I didn't see if they were in. It's funny in this how you could shift left and right with the D-pad. And... Oh, man. And kind of act like you don't like the ball doesn't even come down on the dribble, like this. Oh, he went up for an alley oop there, and I just didn't pass it in time. Yeah, I remember I had a. Uh, if any of you guys collected basketball cards, I had a rookie Arvidas Sabonis flair. Not Fleer, Flair. Do you remember Flair? Flair was like a higher end basketball card. They're thicker cards. I believe the logo is like in cursive. I remember there was this place on 
in Michigan when my family went on vacation. It was like a cigar shop. And they had some basketball cards, but it was like only the higher end ones, like Flair. So I'd get a pack of that and I was excited. Give me that card. I gotta look through to see if I actually have that still. One of my, my favorite series of cards, I think, are uh, the Skybox EX2000. I have a lot. I have the, you know, the Kobe Bryant rookie and most of the other rookies. I don't have the whole set, but like a couple years ago, I bought the full sets of both the NFL and MLB um, EX2000. So I have those somewhere back in my closet, and they were so cheap. I couldn't believe how cheap I got those sets for. I want to say the football one was like $18. And the MLB one was maybe 35 to 38 bucks with the shipping. I had this idea that I was going to make like a coffee table out of it. Because if you remember, those cards are all see-through with different colors. But I haven't taken on a project like that quite yet. It's hard when you work and you got video games to play to do something. What is my favorite sport? I mean, throughout the years, it's been basketball. But uh, I would say it, it's pretty close to, to changing to football. And it's always been those as my top two sports. But... Uh, I guess I'm just more into the X's and O's and strategy of football compared to basketball. Because obviously that exists in basketball with running plays and all that. Um, but I feel like it is a much much more free-flowing sport. Like a lot of a way a lot of these NBA teams are playing now, there's, there's nothing too creative about what they're doing it's like they're just spreading it out pulling up for three going iso drawing fouls like they're not running creative offenses or plays they're just taking advantage of you know one-on-one -on -one matchups or the analytics of just getting a ton of shots off I think this game should let the both players sub when there's a timeout, but they don't. Uh, NFL Street 4 versus 2K5 NFL Blitz on PS5. That would be awesome to see that. I don't know. Three-point game is taken over. Yeah, I remember... One of the more recent games I watched was on ABC. It was between the Celtics and the Rockets. And, you know, those are two of the small ball teams. And I was just like, they're just going down the court, spreading out. There's no one down low to block. And they're just chucking a three or someone's taking it off the dribble. All right, let's get these coaching tips in. Connecticut, they can't win if they can't score, and they can't score if they don't have the ball. Quick hands can cause turnovers, take some chances, which I've been doing. I pushed them a ton, got a lot of steals. Boston College, just because you successfully create a turnover doesn't mean that you get any points. Set up your plays better, work the ball, and take advantage of the turnovers. They're screwed. Uh, so I got a big lead again. Uh, I haven't put Johnson in at all, so I'm going to use him. His three points terrible, though. Can he dunk? Four? Oh, man. This, these guys are rough. I'll just go Allen and Johnson. Uh, I could do it. Johnson and King. Let's do it. Yeah, Ray Allen. That's who it is.
So Ray Allen, I don't really know how far this team went in college. But they had a few players. Oh, yeah, we got Johnson with the horse grant glasses. Kayvon Dirk saying, I'll do my tournament on college hoops 2K5 tonight. So, Kayvon Dirks, do you do any YouTube or Twitch or stream anything, or you just end up playing these these games, uh, you know, offline? Party time! Party time! This player model, his face kind of looks like Steve Urkel as well. Guy's huge. You do YouTube? Okay, cool. I'll have to check out your channel, see what you got going on. I haven't really seen anything quite like this where they've everyone's canceling any event that has any number of people I mean I went out to eat last night there's a small restaurant that I usually go to and the place was packed but then I also went to Dave and Buster's before that and it was like a ghost town for a Friday night Get that. It's a pretty tough to block still in this. I will check it out. As I say that, they're blocking me. Johnson for three. No. You know, one thing I could say about these earlier arcade um, games that Midway, and then, of course, this is Acclaim, but the ball on the rim physics of how it bounces around and looks is the best of the era. I, I think a lot of times I've seen games on the PlayStation 64, even PS2, where it doesn't look right. Like the way the ball goes and bounces off the rim or the net looks. Like there's so many games where that looks bad. And that's, I mean, I don't understand it because if you're playing a basketball game, that's kind of like one of the more important things, how the ball goes in the rim and looks. Like does the net, you know, swoop a different way? I did. I went to Dave & Buster's yesterday. I won a uh, on the crane game first try for my daughter is uh, Oscar the Grouch. She did not like it. She said it was too scary. So with the tickets we had, we picked out a Squirtle. So she's got that now. She's collecting those. Why don't I take donations? Um, because I'm not really in the YouTube game for that. Um, I know a lot of people who stream think like that's just what happens when you stream. It's like you have to ask for donations or some stuff like that. But um, I don't really, I don't really see the need for it. I mean, I'm just doing this for fun. Um, you know, once you get over a thousand subscribers, YouTube lets you turn on video ads, which I just have them at the beginning of the videos. And even though it doesn't bring in much at all, it still allows me to do a little something for everybody who watches the channel and contributes and plays in the tournaments for the Retro Sports League Championship. So that tournament ends up being free. 
and I give away the money there. So, um, that's why I don't ask for donations. Did anyone, um, had Duke go into the Final Four this year if they did March Madness? You mean in 1996? North Carolina was the team in the 90s. I mean, they probably had a, what, stack hot, well, no, they probably would have been drafted out of the NBA by then. Stackhouse and Wallace. Um, they would have had Carter and Antoine Jameson. Use Kansas Jayhawks on... Is Kansas Jayhawks your team? Who do they have in that game? Is that when they had Heinrich and Ray Friends, or is that after? I, you know, you just kind of lose track after a while of who's in what year. Mort sent me a video. Might be the last one for a while if all the libraries are shut down. Oh, yeah, we could figure out how to get it. Get it going. Hopefully they don't shut out the shut down the libraries. Yeah, I think in order for this channel to do like a Patreon or anything like that, we would I feel like I would we would have to do like some high high quality edited videos. Which I try to get my brother to start doing some of them, but uh he hasn't come through yet. My cousin Sean has done some edited videos, but I feel like, you know, streaming is, is a fun thing to do, and I have a lot of knowledge of some of the games, but um, overall, it's just about building the community hang and hanging out, really. My brother wanted to go to Dave & Buster's back in January, but I didn't have enough money. Yeah, you know... I've I've been going the last few times I went there I didn't spend any money. Um, my dad's company went to Dave and Buster's for like their Christmas party, and my dad does not play games at all. Like he has never been interested in games. Like he's humored me a few years playing in our family Tecmo Super Bowl tournament, but he holds the controller like uh, like he's taking pictures with a camera. It's pretty bad. <laughs> And when I was younger, he did play Atari with me, but he, he like he's not interested at all. So basically, he just gave me the card that the company paid for, and I was using that for a while. Incredible. But the thing to do at Dave and Buster's is if you get one of those, like they give you twenty free dollars for twenty that you spend. Just go in on a weekday that's not Wednesday, because that's their half price day, and I don't think they honor that. Connecticut scores a hundred again, get the win. And then those points are still good for other days. So if you have one close enough. This game is a lot of fun. Hurricane. The Jayhawks, your favorite team. I like the Jayhawks logo. They've had some good teams throughout the years. Paul Pierce, yeah, he's probably one of their best players. I do like the business model of Dave and Buster's where if you load up the card, you could just go in and play like it's an arcade and you don't have to necessarily spend money every time. This is on Sega Saturn. A console that not that many people play. Connecticut. Boston College scored way more. I mean, 182, so maybe the teams are getting better as I go through the tournament. And we're going to get to this next game in a moment. Um, I'll be back in a moment here. I'm going to show you guys some retro game commercials for a second. I'll be right back. Before I get into this next game, this will be the final four. If I had been a basketball, I'd get rid of the extra players. I make it two on two. So I either have the ball or I'm getting the ball. And I can get up some rules like no setting the ball on fire. And I do this. 
Because it's not my fault everyone's not 7 1. Hey, play your game. It's NBA Showtime, NBA on NBC. It ain't no sim game. And I made free throws with three points. Because free throws are tough. The clock will continue to run. Fourth down, seconds remaining. They're going to need to call a T.O. Yo, this is T.O. Game Informer calls it the one football game you must have. Yeah. And IGN says it will own your soul. Get ESPN NFL 2K5 from ESPN Video Games. Hey, how'd you get this number? Rated E for everyone. All the trading, all the stats, all the matchups, and if you're lucky, a chance to kiss Lord Stanley's cup. 84 game season, NHL 95. How do you describe a playmaker? How do you describe a playmaker? Guy who's clutch, who makes the big time plays in big games, baby. He pulls guys, knocks guys, rips guys out of this huge. Bang, bang, <laughs> boom. The playmaker makes the catch over the middle. He better not come across that middle. <laughs> Enter your seat, see your feet. Get the stadium to go off. Yeah, yeah. And the guy that I'm talking about, he's an offensive guy. He's a defensive guy. Hey Ray, talk to me on Monday. What you say, Michael? Offense, baby. Playmaker, he's a tank. Sports car, a semi. He rips it away when it matters. Never ever coughs it up. He makes the big pass. He bats it away. He makes the big run. Big catch. The big hit. He makes the big kick. What? Kickers will speak when spoken to. Introducing Playmaker Control, only in Madden NFL 2004, the official game of Playmakers. Rated E for everyone. E. All right, guys, I'm back. Got a jacket on. It's a little cold in my basement. It's still in the 30s here in Chicago. So Il Tempo says, good beginner team Tecmo Super Bowl for a football noob. Uh, that's easy. 49ers, Giants, Bills, and Oilers. All those teams are good beginner teams because they have a higher success rate of a lot of things. The final four, and they show all the teams here with their logos. Pretty cool. UConn versus Cincinnati. Cincinnati was a powerhouse back in these days, too. I remember that. So since... Natty. Sorry, I don't know how to spell that. I had to look. I screw that word up. If I lived there, I would get it right, but there's a lot of the same letters in there. You have NHL 95 on Super Nintendo. Oh, yeah, that Victor Moss commercial. Madden 04. Yeah, Tecmo Bowl, the original one, is a good game. It's it's more limited than Tecmo Super Bowl, but it's still a very good game. Basically, the only good football games on Nintendo are Tecmo Bowl and Tecmo Super Bowl. All the other ones are pretty bad. Oh, your dad went there before? All right, let's not mess around. We're starting off with our two guys that made the NBA, Ray Allen and Travis Knight. It's kind of cool, this game. I mean, they start you off with 16. The games are pretty quick to play through. This would be fun to do with a group of friends. You could pick how many players you want. Uh, it's really easy to do. It wouldn't take that long. So, I mean, this is one of those things where if you have March Madness parties and stuff and your, your friends like video games, obviously this year is not going to be a good one. To, to do that, but um, yeah, this is an easy, quick up, pick up and play type game. Oh, Allen with a baseline jumper. NHL 95. Uh, one of the guys that used to contribute on the channel is uh, on the Retro Sports Gaming Monthly is is Nick the Commish Sagathon. He loves that game. He has a Big tournament every year in Minnesota with his uh, with his friends. 
And he does all these write-ups and stuff. It's pretty cool. So everyone gives him a hard time about liking NHL 95 over 94. But uh, I think all those Sega Genesis NHL games are pretty fun. Um, but 94, I think, has the best pace to it. And then by 96, they're doing spin moves and stuff that stop checks. It's not very realistic. I mean, not that those games are realistic, but 94 feels more like hockey to people. The Huskies logo is cute, yes. Cincinnati, if you want your Masters. Um... It's not that she prefers Chuck E. Cheese over. It's just there's a Dave and Buster's that's close. And, you know, I prefer Dave and Buster's over Chuck E. Cheese. Chuck e. I did take her to Chuck E. Cheese once. It wasn't bad at all. Uh, the, the pay structure is a little different there. There, you paid per, like, how long you were going to play. Um... So they get you spending money each and every time you come in. Because I remember I paid for how much how much it was for an hour. But then you could play anything. And the other thing too is... Not that I sit there and... Try to play for the prizes. But there's a lot of redemption games at both Chuck E. Cheese and Dave and & Buster's. And the Chuck E. Cheese prizes are just kind of trash. They're really bad. Like... Dave and Buster's has some cool stuff, um, you know, that's not junk. Like, you, if you went to, like, a Target or a Toys R Us back in the day, like, it's good stuff you would see there. They have even, like, some video games you can get. PS4, Xbox, Switch, which I'm not that far off from getting. I think I had, like, 10,000 tickets yesterday. What's up, Smoke? How's it going? Getting in some college basketball action. I'm going to start playing a bunch of stuff. Get the different sports in. But, you know, I just kind of felt when I got home today, like I should be uh, watching some conference tournaments or something. So this is always the first game that comes to my mind when I think college basketball. College slam on the arcade one up. That boost doesn't really help. It just made me go out of bounds. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if... It's probably another hurdle with licensing that they wouldn't do because there's really nothing college-related coming out right now. I'm doing great. I'm really doing good. I wanted to do a stream last night and play NBA Live 2002 on PlayStation, but, uh, yeah, I had to be a dad, and by the time I laid down too long, it just didn't have the, didn't have it in me. So today, today I'm going to pace myself. I don't think we're doing anything, so the streams... Just keep them coming. This guy's really small on Cincinnati. Their point guard. Oh, Miss Dunk. Power play last week. The thing I would like bringing back retro sports games into any recent systems like PS4, Xbox One. Yeah. Maybe the PlayStation 5 will do that. That's one thing that's always frustrated me about the PlayStation 4. I think them allowing streaming on all those different services is awesome. That's one of the reasons I bought the PlayStation 4. But you can't just pop in a PlayStation 1 or 2 game and play it and stream that, which I think that would be huge if they can make that a feature of their next console. Because not everybody's going to get a proper laptop and capture card and do all this. It's really easy when you just hit a share button on a controller and then you're good to go. You're playing online and they call a timeout. Your only hope to watch sports here lately. Don't let us down. I know I had a few people tell me that. Yeah, I mean, we we stay pretty pretty steady the last couple of years playing sports games. 
try to give you a dose here and there of what people would normally be watching. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised, Mort, that you will smoke me in ESPN 2K5. Currently, I'm not that good at the game. Uh, but I'm building up the knowledge on it. I'm utilizing the hot routes more. And the plan is, by the time we throw that tournament at the Cleveland Gaming Classic, that I will be uh, in the running to win that tournament. I don't have like this built up muscle memory or strategy of that game like I do for the Madden games of that era. You're not that good either yet. This timeout's been big for him. They're going on a run. Travis Knight throws up a brick. And these guys are just taking over. Cut it to 12. You have Xbox One, so... Oh, you do Mixer? Yeah. Xbox... I had my brother's Xbox One for a while because we did a Tecmo throwback season. You can still people play people online in that, which is awesome. It was it was pretty fun, um, but they don't allow you to stream on YouTube from the console, and they made it like kind of cumbersome to do Twitch, even though you could still do it. That's what I was uh, streaming on and then exporting them over to YouTube. But yeah, they pretty much set it up like, hey, use Mixer for this, use Mixer for that. The, the thing that was frustrating is I wanted to get the headset on for whoever I was playing. And it just wouldn't allow me through Twitch. But then, like, all the settings are there for a mixer. It's like, come on, guys. Like, you couldn't make this more obvious that you're just trying to push people towards mixer. Since you decided you wanted to stream and you own that like you do the Xbox. Just getting the basics down. Strategy is definitely different. Passing works different. Yeah, it's a great game. I mean, ESPN, NFL 2K5, it's just unbelievable how fluid everything is. Smoke, not a fan of Mixer. Um, I don't, like, I don't know enough about it to call it trash. So, why do you think it is trash? I just think it's forced on xbox that's all i have to say about it i don't know much about it only streamed on there a couple times through restream uh we don't play updated roster because someone has to be the brain behind the updated rosters of creating the ratings and sometimes there's a lot of disagreement there's a lot of knowledge that we have about the original game that we are calculating as we play um that you just can't do those calculations when you have updated rosters that some guys making, you know, it's just it's just not the same. Like when you're playing the original game, you know like, hey, if this receiver's in this spot, he could take advantage of this corner and stuff like that. Yeah, Cincinnati and Yukon kinda close. They played uh good after that timeout. So here we go. Connecticut keep Banging, you have to be physical underneath in order to dominate the boards. Don't let them push you around. Cincinnati, you're looking good on defense, but you have to do more than just block shots to win a game. You have to convert on the blocks and turnovers. Okay, let's get into this second half. I'm putting Allen back in. This is a closer game. I don't know why the injuries stay zero. I mean... There's obviously injuries in that half. Mixer is pretty much dead now. I mean, YouTube's still really good for streaming. It was better when they had YouTube Gaming. The biggest issue with YouTube Gaming when they had it is they, when you search videos, they wouldn't pull up the live stuff first. They would take everything that was already on YouTube, whether it was edited or not, and that's what it would push. So, like, if I... If you looked up Tecmo Bowl or Tecmo Super Bowl, it wouldn't show one of my videos first. It would show like Pat the NES Punk, his edited Tecmo Bowl video that's been on there for years. So it's like, what's the point if you have to filter all this stuff to even find a live stream? It didn't 
it just wasn't a good interface. But the 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 what's it called? The notifications were good and stuff like that. I'm gonna Sheffer's good. I liked Johnson though. He's just big in the last game. I do agree. Very frustrating for mixers. Smoke says, Ninja got paid millions to stream there and only gets 15% of the people he used to. I don't watch Ninja. I read an article about how bad it is. Nobody goes or uses it. Yeah, I think, I mean, YouTube to me was was just what I knew from, you know, how long it's been there. And then it's, it's on so many platforms. It's even built into TVs where Twitch doesn't have that same advantage. I like that YouTube offers features but doesn't force them. Twitch is kind of like um, Ill Tempo asked about like donations earlier. They pushed like the bits thing, which for a while was fine when they let you watch ads to get bits, but they haven't let you do that for a while. So it's always like it's almost like, hey, you you're on Twitch now. Buy bits to give them to people. And Twitch, to me, like, depending on what you're watching on, is a little bit shoddy. I mean, like, for instance, I still have the PlayStation 3 in my living room and use it for Netflix and YouTube. And guess what? The Twitch app doesn't work on there anymore, so you can't watch Twitch on it. Yeah, I have to watch it on the PlayStation 4 downstairs or on my computer or phone, whereas the YouTube still works fine. I have heard of DLive, although I have not even tried using it. I'm guessing that's like DTube, where it's like you go on there and you're trying to get cryptocurrency credit. I think I did sign up for DTube, but yeah, I'm not... It's just the service isn't as good. I mean, YouTube is... They really just offer the best product overall. But YouTube is everything. The good thing about Twitch is... You expect it to be mostly gaming-related content. Whereas YouTube's anything. You have Wii, you still watch Netflix... Yeah, that's cool. That's one thing I was thinking. I have the Wii hooked up over here on my CRT TV. It's like a 32-inch. You can't really download anything off the Wii store anymore, but I remember watching YouTube all the time on my Wii. But I don't have the app on there now, so I don't know if it's still possible to watch YouTube on Wii. That's what I was kind of trying to do, but I wasn't able to get the app. I think my original Wii my brother has right now. So maybe the YouTube app's still on there if he didn't delete it. But I know he does a bunch of stuff with the homebrew channel. Me, I don't I don't have any of that stuff. The Wii was a pretty good interface, really. It was built from the ground up too. In my opinion it's better than what is on the Switch now. Cincinnati having a rough second half. I don't know if these two small guys are cutting the mustard. Oh, I was hoping you'd go up for an alley oop there. Timeout computer to got bringing the big guys again. Yeah, I also watch YouTube on both Switch and Xbox One, and it still works. That's another thing. the The Switch didn't have a YouTube app even for the longest. I still don't know if it has a Twitch app. It has YouTube at least now. And it's nice because sometimes you can watch it handheld if you want to. So yeah, YouTube's kind of like the standard when it comes to video watching on the internet. So maybe they'll make a run with these two big guys they were playing pretty good defense last time. The hook shot. Yeah, see? 
big the bigger guys give me a way tougher challenge just because they can block at the rim. Johnson from the baseline. Yeah, and at some point people have they kind of have to choose which one they're going to do. Like when I started the YouTube channel, I started it because I wanted to do edited videos. So like the first 15 videos are retro sports gamer episodes. I had a great time doing those. But the amount of time it was taking me to edit and me already working on a computer a lot, I just wasn't just wasn't as into it. And as soon as YouTube launched live streaming, I'm like, oh, I got to do that because then some of these games that I'm buying, I could just play them and showcase them while I work on other edited videos. Well, then life hits you and, you know... And you, you figure out you don't have as much time to edit videos. Um, so there's more stuff on here that's live streaming. I didn't know that the channel would be this way, but I'm glad it has because it allows me to live interact with people. Once you get in the rhythm of it, it's it can be fun to just hang out, play some games, and talk whatever. Sports usually, but... One thing, Adam says, one thing you hate the most of ESPN 2K football. One thing I hate the most. I'm trying to think, do I hate anything? Um, I'll have to, I'm thinking about that. The thing is, there's really... There's nothing I hate. I'll say they that. Maybe there's something I can nitpick about the game if I really wanted to, but there really isn't anything um, too negative to say about it. It's just a really good game overall. Yeah, Cincinnati didn't come off strong in the second half. Just passed me the ball right back. We're down 30. Looks like UConn's going to the national championship. Ray Allen. We'll see if the next team I play has some bigger players out on the court. Those are really the only ones that are, that are giving me a challenge. Center, 90-64. So I probably will be streaming more, especially if my work decides that we can work from home. Heck, I'm going to get a stream in during the day. <laughs> Take my lunch hour to do it. That's the thing, like driving to work and being around there, like you can't. Just mix in some stuff that you like to do because you're down wherever you work. So let me know what other games you'd like to see um, showcased on the channel. And if I don't know a ton about a game, I'll at least give my opinion on it. Didn't score 100 points in that game. Training camp. I know they do have some kind of training Although, I don't know if there's like mini games like Madden. Those were actually really good. I, I had fun playing those mini games in Madden. NHL hits. Yes, I have 2002 on the PS2. You, you start working from home for school. Yeah, a lot of schools closed down and forced the semester to finish online. Very interesting. I don't know, how do you feel about that hurricane? Um, are you like kind of upset that you don't get the face-to-face -face classes? I mean, it kind of depends on what classes you are taking. Like someone made the point yesterday that it's kind of hard to do like labs if you can't go to, to school or have the classes, you're okay with it. Uh, well, it's not NBA Jan, Red Fan Rod, but uh, it's College Slam. I mean, everything outside of it, it's just the gameplay 
is similar um, with NBA Jam TE. Closed for two weeks. Yeah, it's it's funny because there's still tons of people's in the in the store. I went to Target this morning, and besides for all the toilet paper being gone, it seemed pretty normal. So let's play this national championship. It looks like Michigan, the University of Michigan, has made the national championship. And looking at their player ratings, they're not good at all. So maybe they got a couple guys. They're coming in with a power forward and center. So I have said that those are the two, like the bigger guys are giving me the problem. If I have one, not really, not that I've really had a problem. So I've been smoking these teams, but at least it's a little bit more challenging. I don't know if I have 2004 March Madness. I got a stack of games over there. Um, yes, I do have it, actually. I have that game. Dave and Buster should start serving pizza. I mean, they could. They get some pizza ovens. It's kind of like Chuck E. Cheese's thing, though, even though they don't. Well, I haven't had their pizza in so long, so I'm not even going to say it. it's bad because I haven't ate it since I was a kid. It's worse here in Europe, but let's not talk about the virus that breaks my mood. Yeah, I mean, there's there's the virus thing, and it's the control controlling of people behaviors thing, and the quarantine stuff. It's just it's a little wild out there right now, but, you know, just... Stay in your local surroundings and do the best you can with what you got going in your area. And YouTube's still active, so we're still streaming. Your dad did online courses when he was doing college, so both of us experienced it. Well, my grandpa was a wood shop teacher, and like to him, like online courses were just so foreign. He's like, why would people pay that, you know, to do online? Because to him, a lot of the learning's hands on. And I get his point with that. But a lot of these courses now, they're not like a wood shop course or auto course, like stuff that you are doing with your hands. So you could do a lot of learning over the internet and online. Hurricane wants that barbecue pizza at Dave and Buster's. Recycled pizza? What do you th What's recycled pizza? Big time center shooting a jumper. Michigan kind of hanging in there early. Travis Knight goes flying. They don't even try to block him at all. Didn't know Horace Johnson Grant went to UConn. Yeah, that's what I said earlier that he had. Uh, he looked like Horace Grant with those goggles. I still play pickup basketball. I played on Thursday night. And... Uh, over the years, probably not up until this year, I feel like I should be wearing glasses while I play sports, but I'm not ready to dive into the uh, the goggles. Like you sweat so much, I just don't get how it how it would work right with all the fog in the glasses. I just don't think it would be for me. So I still play without my glasses on, and you know basketball I could get away with because. The balls, this big orange thing. And you could just get a, you have a feel over the years of shooting at a 10 foot rim. That you don't need to like see it in crystal clarity. But when I play 16 in softball, I needed my glasses like two years ago when I started playing. Because I was like, it's a smaller ball, it's white. It's like almost seeing it double vision at times. I'm like, yeah, this isn't going to work. What do you think about Nash and his back-to-back -back MVP? 
I think he definitely deserved it. I think Shaq is just crying about it. But Nash was just throwing up crazy number of assists back then. And that team was first place in the league. They looked good doing it. Even though Nash he was probably only averaging 15 points a game or something. like He made everyone else on his team look incredible, especially Amari Stoudemire. Too bad those Phoenix teams didn't at least make a finals. They were definitely good enough to do so. All right, we're getting, getting hot a little bit. Michigan showing some good passing. Can't get that one off the rim. Nash and Jason Williams. Well, Jason Williams is just fun to watch, especially on the Kings. Like, he just came in the league, and he just didn't care. He's like, well, this is how I play. I'm showtime, so let me just throw every creative, crazy pass that I can. This game is close now. Michigan make it a run. These threes aren't falling for Ray Allen. And just pass the ball away. They have taken the lead. Yeah, Shaq needs to get over it. So Shaq, Shaq has bad blood for a lot of people. He's also Dwight Howard. He's always talking trash to him. And maybe if he felt that way when he got traded to the Suns, that's why the team got worse and it didn't work out. How do I feel about the coronavirus? Uh, well, that seems like a simple question, but it is a loaded one. Um, I think there's there's an overreaction to some of the things that are happening. Uh, it's good that people are taking precaution and washing their hands and using hand sanitizer. But my question is, why weren't you doing that more before? If germs were a big uh, a big concern, so um, shutting down like all these events, uh, I guess the bigger ones it does make sense. Where it's you know over tens of thousands of people, but people are shutting down events that are less than a hundred people. I mean, you go to any store or anything, like you're you're around that many people, so. I don't know. Some people are just freaking out about it more than others. I think just keep doing your thing and uh, yeah, just be conscious of your surroundings and keep living the way you've been living. Jason brought so much fun to the league. Yeah, he did. I actually had a Jason Williams jersey on the Kings. At the time, you know, the colors, the Kings thing, kind of made me look like a gangbanger kid, but I really was not, obviously. You hated Christian Leitner. I think there's a whole documentary about the hate for Christian Leitner. I don't know why people hated him so much. Get this little guy out of here. Bring in this little Muggsy Bogues type player. He's getting thrown around the court. Here we go. 14 point lead for UConn. Christian Leitner had a lot of luck. Yeah, he did. I mean, he didn't do great in the NBA, but he had one all-star appearance on the Atlanta Hawks. I mean, you can't expect every great player of college to turn into something. I think you got to go deeper 
um, into yourself when you get into the NBA. Like, talent's only going to take you so far. Uh, Christian Leitner didn't have a ton of physical talent. He obviously had the size for the NBA. Um, but once you get to the NBA, it's you really got to have the work ethic. So that's why some of these guys who shine in high school and college, which is raw talent, don't end up making the biggest splash in the NBA. Also, there's a political game to it of how much playing time you're going to get opportunities. All right, national championship halftime coaching chips. You're really making them look bad with all your jams, but don't get overconfident. The tide can turn very quickly. We've already heard that one. Michigan, you're looking good on defense, but you have to do more than just block shots to win games. You have to convert on the blocks and turnovers. I think we heard that one, too. Oh, you yeah, had Jason Williams on the Grizzlies. He did. He won the chip with that Dwayne Wade and Shaq team. Also, James Posey winning those championships. They hate Leitner because he was fly for a white guy. Yeah, that could be something. Big, tall, good-looking white dude. All right, we got to get Allen and Johnson back in there. Get the Horace Grant look-alike. Connecticut making Michigan look bad. Yes. The Grizzlies were in Vancouver. Oh, I was just asking Jason. I think Jason Williams was only on the team when they were in Memphis. I don't believe he was there when they played in Vancouver. I like those original Vancouver uh, Grizzlies jerseys, though. I mean, they're kind of like over-the-top 90s, and that's what I really like about them. I'm trying to think, like, who would be a good one to get? I remember my friend Mike was so into Greg Anthony and getting his Greg Grizzlies jersey. He was like such an odd guy to want his jersey for, but he, he loved it. I would rock a big country Bryant Reeves jersey just, just to make some people laugh about it. I mean, he didn't really pan out to what people thought he could be. I mean, I guess Sharif Abdul Rahim would be their best player. On fire. Yeah, did have the Grizzlies ever brought back those retro jerseys and played a game with them? I know the NBA teams change jerseys all the time now. Yeah, he was the only one on the team when they were in Memphis. Oh, I'm just taking over with Ray Allen. Oh, come on. Air ball on fire. That's so, right. 19 point lead. Vancouver, one of the worst NBA teams ever. I would say so when they were there. They never were good. That NBA expansion draft did not treat them well. Although they had good talent out of college. I mean, Raheem was good. Sharif Abdul Raheem, I think he was from California. He was good, but yeah, they didn't build around him. The Raptors had Damon Stoudemire, and then they had Marcus Camby. But really, they turned around once they got Vince Carter. And they still had McGrady from the year before. And then they started uh, signing some NBA vets to play with them. That's when they became a more of a serious threat. Oh, they've worn the so you they got a what John Morant in the the Grizzlies, the old school Grizzlies uniforms. That's pretty cool. Time out real quick. Make the subs. Have I seen Seattle Supersonics jerseys this year look awesome? 
No, I mean, did they showcase the Sonics jerseys? Like, did the Thunder wear them or something? The Thunder have been a surprise team in the NBA. I mean, that just goes to show you how valuable Chris Paul is. He's a tr he's one of those guys. That he's a true point guard who leads his team. There's not many of those guys perceived to be left. I mean, he kind of reminds me of the era before Jason Kidd, except can score better. But Jason Kidd was always a leader, could pass. The Thunder, so you're saying, the, I'll have to look that up, the Thunder wore the jerseys. Do you all think D-Wade give Vince a nine? You're talking about like the dunk contest? Not back then, because they weren't used to seeing these over-the-top dunks that you see now. Even though some of those late 80s dunk contests, early 90s, were pretty good. It was a different dunking style, but you could see the athleticism that these guys possess. And if you are looking for a good in-game dunker... And want to watch a guy that was incredible in the late 80s? Look at Dominique Wilk Wilkins and some of the dunks that he was doing in the games. They were powerful, athletic dunks. Get this guy out of here. These little guys never do well in College Slam, NBA Jam. They're just, the games aren't made for them. Unless they have like really high three-point shooting. Yeah, with all Aaron Gordon's good dunk contest performances, it's, it's a shame he didn't win one. But hey, the dunk contest is subjective. There's subjective sports out there with judging. And uh, that makes all the difference how the guys judge you. So... That's why I never really got into sports like that. Feels like you have even less control over it. You still got to deal with the refs and certain things in these other sports, but doing a performance sport and then being judged, I'll go up for an oop. See if he'll give me the oop. No. Okay, see, Thunder are doing well, but I always say about every NBA team, there's improvement for every team, anyone in sports. Now, people are talking like Thunder, no playoffs, and they're like, they could win a couple rounds in the NBA, assuming that they will resume the league. At some point. Incredible. I don't think Aaron Gordon got robbed twice. I didn't watch this last year's dunk contest. But Zach Levine's dunks were the best I've ever seen. I mean, Gordon too. It's just unfortunate that he was going up against Zach Levine. I think Zach Levine definitely deserved to win those with the dunks he was doing. Oh, a big three-pointer by Michigan. But they still get crushed. It does, yeah. Saturn's a 2D powerhouse. It's a 2D scaler. Troy's been in the chat for a few moments. I saw an earlier comment from him. But, yeah, it's it looks good. This is a good game. So, so let's see. The video looks terrible on the Saturn. It wasn't ready for that, like PlayStation. Is this a special national championship video? It didn't look like it. Ray Allen with 78 points. Just lighten it up. That's got to be an NCAA record. Favorite dunks to see, Michael Jordan. I 
Adam saying Aaron Gordon got robbed. This is probably the year he, he got robbed. There's a hardware upgrade to improve the video. And there you go, the final results. Michigan makes the final. USC Cincinnati, we're in the final four. And there you go. They just picked the teams automatically to put them in. Clarence saying uh, Dominique Wilkins got robbed by MJ in 1988. I'll have to go back and watch that dunk contest. Chamberlain scored 90 points twice at Kansas. Okay, I was wrong about that. I should have known better. It's like what uh, Reggie Miller's sister had over 100 points in college. Or was that high school? I don't remember. MJ from the line with the tongue out. Have you ever seen the videos of Zach Levine doing 360s from the free throw line? It's pretty crazy. That's what I do like about sports. It's the raw athleticism of some of these guys where they're just doing things that it seems like it's not possible for a human to pull off, but they're doing it. Was Michael Jordan a jerk? I mean, I don't know. Maybe that's what some people say, but I've never had direct experience with them. But I think it's all relative. Some people are good to some and some aren't to others unfortunately they don't treat all people the same but yeah um so i guess this is the credits wait tim kittrow did the voice for this too i have to look into that did they just because th there's different lines in this than nba jam so they pay them to do it i mean i don't get it because this was not Midway game. Midway was pissed that they made this game. But yeah, got the got the tournament win. If I played this again against the computer, I definitely put it on a five and see how I do. That was too easy for me. I don't know if it would be frustrating on five. Oh, they got the they got the arcade leaderboards. I love this. I don't know why more games don't put this in there. I was I didn't like that the NBA Jam EA Sports didn't have this. That that was like my biggest knock on it. Like, why did you take this out? It was one of the coolest features of having it local, and it it was on NBA Jam for the Wii with no online. So I don't know why they would take that out. I understand like you want to make. The online features better for these online games but the original NBA Jam EA Sports was made for the Wii exclusively so why the heck would they take it out I don't know but that's a topic for another day this game was not in the arcades it was only on home consoles all right guys well that's gonna do it for this uh, this stream uh, college slam just went through a tournament with UConn on the normal three difficulty setting. I'm going to try to fill the void of no live sports being on. And uh, getting streams in of different games when I can. So um, I will most likely be back later with another stream of a different game. And I'll just keep it rolling as much as I have time to do it. So thank you everyone for watching this stream and it was good chatting with you i'll be back soon take care